this was one of those ideas, the sander shelf that I recently made, and it doesn't work. It sucks. It's horrible. I hate it. I don't like the sanders over here. They, they're just messy, and it, it feels wrong. That's where I'm used to sanding. That's where I'm going to continue to sand, so I'm taking that down. But it does mean that I've got that space, so... This could be another one of those ideas, but I'm going to run with it anyway. This idea is I'm going to downsize this and convert it into a smaller French cleat holder to go on the back wall. The resurgence of a modicum of sight work is gratefully received because it helps with the monthly budgeting for the tools and the new sparkly bits that I keep seeing that I convince myself I need. But it also brings with it the problem that some of the tools that I've got locked down and in workshop mode, I can't afford to buy another set of them for site work. So I need to be able to take them out with me. And with that charging station that we just looked at, one of the things I did was to essentially hardwire the chargers in. So what I need to do is to take the chargers out. And I think I'm going to try just popping the chargers on this surface here so that I can literally grab and run with them if I need drills and battery screwdrivers while I'm out on site. I think for this, what I really want to do is just be able to keep the drills and the screwdrivers easy to access close at hand. So it's everything out of this unit ready to take apart. The chargers are over there on top of that base unit. I'm quite happy with them where they are. I can get to them easy, drop them in a bag and take them to site. I want to keep the same method of storage with the drills and the drivers. I just want to drop them in there so that I can see the bit that I've got in them. So I really want this bit, this L shape. So I really need to cut along this joint. And the only thing I can come up with is a handsaw. And I thought my days of climbing up onto things were over. So I was half tempted to get my European saw out. But I thought... Don't go backwards, Graham. Feeling a little puffed right now. The perfect wedge. What a walk in the park. So a little clean up with the sander and that will be a wonderful little storage shelf to go somewhere. I've no idea where, but I'm sure I'll find a use for it. So now that I've cut that off, I'm thinking that if I put a plate on top and then the cleat on the back, not only do I get to store the drivers the same way I did before, but I also get this little shelf where I could put Maybe batteries there. Don't know, maybe a little bit storage drills. That's my widest battery off the Festool. And that requires some um, 85 mil. So I'm thinking if I cut these back to 100 mil, put a little piece on the top and the cleat on the back, I get more than I bargained for. And if I don't like it, I can always revert back to taking those off, putting the cleat directly on the back and just having that, it's got to be worth a punt. So that's what I'm gonna do.
waste not want not if I attach that little bit there a little spot of glue and maybe a screw then I extend the space I've got to attach a back panel I like that The space I've got can accommodate a meter, but if I cut a meter or cut this down to a meter, it's going to be horribly unbalanced, which would be dreadful, wouldn't it? So those two supports there are a shade under 920. So I think what I'm going to do is cut down just beside this hole and just beside this hole, and then I can put a little round, put a little round, a little round, a little round, and re-beautify it again and it'll be all balanced and and lovely uh, a little longer than i need at the moment but you never know what could be round the corner of what additional tools may be in my future <laughs> Polyvine heavy duty floor varnish. If you haven't tried it, seriously, give it a go. It's fantastic stuff. And I know it says floor varnish, but if it's been manufactured in such a way that it'll withstand the traffic of a foot on a floor, then imagine how long it's gonna last on a shelf or on a door or on a something like this. It lasts forever. Well worth it. I think I'm going to go for a higher up the wall. So that I don't catch myself on the bits hanging out. I think that will do the job very well indeed. I'm much happier with that. That feels much better. And I don't have those horrible dusty sanders in plain sight all the time. I've got all my drills, I can see all the bits that are in them so I can grab the right one, do my job and away I go. The batteries are up the top there so I can get to them nice and easy and my chargers are there. Why didn't I think of that in the first place? And also the other bit as you can see is slotted in over there beautifully so I can start to fill that with 
inappropriate items to my heart's content. And if you're wondering what this is up on the ceiling, there's a video coming for that soon. So make sure you've subscribed and clicked the bell alert button. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Ta-ra.